We've been following this for you since very early this morning, around 930 when we got that breaking news update for you. We've been following this as it developed and the perimeter grew and more police arrived on scene. A very active and very large law enforcement presence there in that neighborhood. But the latest update, if you're just now joining us and you're trying to get an idea of what was happening here, a barricaded suspect, an officer shot undergoing surgery in the hospital, and now that suspect, police have confirmed, was killed by an Oklahoma City police sniper. An Oklahoma City police sniper taking out this suspect. Chase sharing some information that officers went into the neighboring house at one point. We haven't confirmed what method they used, how they went about killing the suspect, but he saw some officers going into yeah. a nearby house. It's possible that maybe that was a way that they did that. But just an unbelievable morning as we show you once again the scene there where officers breached the home, saved children. Uh, they used some tear gas canisters before they made entry. You can see some of the tactical gear being used, shields as they made their entry there. Uh, an Oklahoma City police officer was shot earlier this morning. And now at the end of this, the suspect killed by an Oklahoma City police officer. Just an unbelievably dramatic scene there this morning. We've been following it here on KOCO. We've had multiple reporters on the ground. We've had Sky 5 in the air as well. We're now standing by for Oklahoma City Police, planning to give us a press conference, planning to answer some of the questions we might have after this very, very uh, chaotic morning. We have a lot of questions that we're still trying to answer right now. More information about this suspect, what led up to the initial shooting involving that Oklahoma City police officer this morning as we continue to show you some of these dramatic images. You see the one person that was taken out in handcuffs, but we've since learned that the suspect was killed and is, was dead inside the home. Uh, that person there we saw um, right now, the one that we were just showing there on screen, uh, walking with some of the children. So uh, we don't know the relationship between them, but uh, police uh, obviously uh, said it was okay for that person to go with those children. And so that was happening there. We don't know about the person who was in the handcuffs. Young children. I mean, yeah. children small enough to be carried by the officers under the age of five. I mean, incredible. You have to, you can only imagine what they went through this morning being inside that house. Thankfully, at least three children we've seen saved from the house. We watched them being taken out by officers. Chase bringing us those views from Sky 5 here on KOCO. We've been following this for more than two hours now, bringing you the latest information. We expect to get more here from Oklahoma City Police in a press conference soon. Again, an Oklahoma City police officer right now is, is recovering. They were shot this morning when all of this started, shortly after 9.30. We know they've gone into surgery. They are alert this morning. That's the good news. We have teams at the hospital as well, standing by hoping to get an update uh, here soon on the condition of that officer. Uh, at least one person is dead as a result of this incident. The suspect who was killed by an Oklahoma City police sniper. Incredible stuff, Alejandra, as we continue to look at some of the images there from just moments ago. Yeah, and you saw that only here on KOCO5. We saw this live on the air, breaking updates as police cleared this home. The latest uh, update from police is that the active scene is over, but they're still asking people to avoid that area.